Hi, this video is going to try to uh, clear up some issues that people tend to have on converting a class to a template class, particularly with step five. <clears throat> step five uh, recommends changing the usual include pattern that we've seen so far with classes. Um, usually we see the implementation file include the header file at the top. Uh, now the implementation file is not including any class files, but instead the uh, header file is including the implementation file at the bottom. So you still have the same pattern with the header file on top and the implementation on the bottom, but um, that's done with different a different pattern of include directives. Uh, this is an important and then because because of that change, we have to remove the implementation file from the project. This is important and easy to forget. So here's a little demo templated class. Um, class hello. It has a constructor and a void function say hello. And it has a constant string hello world. Here's the implementation. Uh, the constructor, it doesn't really do anything, and um, then the say hello function see outs the hello string. And then here's our client <clears throat> instantiates the hello class and calls the say hello function. So you, you thought uh, hello world was simple. Let's run it, and uh-oh, we have uh, two errors here. Uh, the first one's really the cause of the second. Unknown type name, hello. Hello? 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 Uh, well, that, that's the class. This is the implementation of that class. What's wrong? What could possibly be wrong? Well, um, problem is that we didn't delete the implementation <clears throat> remove the implementation file from the project so how do we do that well um, we can select the project in the navigator pane and then in the project window we select the build phases tab and then uh, we're seeing two compile sources, including the implementation file, where we're, su we're supposed to remove the implementation file. So we can um, select this little remove items tool, the minus sign, and remove it. Now let's try it. Build succeeded, hello world. Another way to do this is to, to select, actually select the implementation file, and then in the right pane, here's this, this little button up here will uh, unhide the right pane. <clears throat> Unchecked template demo. It was it was unchecked already because I had removed it from the project, um, removed it from the compile sources. There are basically two ways of doing the same thing. If the source isn't there to compile, it can't go to the target membership. If you don't want it to go to the target membership, then you won't compile it. So looked at in this view, we're not we're not seeing the implementation file in here. If we put it back. And look in this view, now we see that it's going to the, uh, the target, the, out, the output object file, the template demo. If, if we remove, if we don't send it to the target, then the IDE won't compile it. <clears throat> uh, once again, just, uh, just to make sure two ways to remove the implementation file from the project. 
put it back in. So select it. First, select the project. In the project window, get in the Build Phases tab. Select the implementation file in the Compile Sources. And delete it with the Delete tool. Now I'll put it back to demonstrate the other method. The other method is with the uh, implementation file selected in the navigator, uncheck target membership in the output object code. If it's in there, we get uh, an unknown type name. If it's not in there and everything else is cool, So just to sort of help visualize this, um, here's the client file, and it includes the header file. Here's the header file, and it includes the implementation file. And here's the implementation file. So this, this concatenation is a compilable unit of source code. Everything is there that we need. Uh, we only need to, to tell the, the IDE to compile main.cpp. Main.cpp will include the header. The header will include the, the implementation. And we've got a compilable unit. So I hope that was helpful. And I uh, hope you have fun coding.